Meta's advanced AI Llama 3 is set to release as early as next week. Commander R Plus sets its sights on top tier open source, and Mixed Draw 8 by 22B gets a surprise release. It's been a stunning week for AI already, and it isn't even over yet. This is AI Surge, I'm Obsidian Ant, and here's everything you need to know. Meta has said they plan on launching two small versions of its forthcoming Llama 3 large language module as early as next week. These smaller models will serve as a precursor to the full Llama 3 release expected in the summer, around about July, which would be roughly a year after the launch of Llama 2. Now, the Llama range of AI models are very big deals, primarily because they are, of course, open source, and that means everyone is free to download them, experiment with them, and even adapt them. This makes Meta's approach to AI in complete opposition to OpenAI, who, as of now, are keeping most of their stuff completely closed source. Now, Llama 3 is highly anticipated by many people, largely because of just how capable it has proven to be in the past previous iterations. Although it hasn't been confirmed, it is expected that Llama 3 will be at least twice the size of the previous Llama model, so around about 140 billion parameters is expected. This is important because the higher the number of parameters, the more complex the model can actually be and the more capable. Another key change that Meta have been very keen to implement here, and this is something they have confirmed, is they've been working to make Llama 3 more open to answering a wider range of questions. And this includes some controversial topics. There was apparently a feeling among Meta's leadership that Llama's two responses were too limited and too cautious. It's also expected that Llama 3 will be a multimodal, which means it would have the capability to analyse images and video. Unfortunately, nothing on this particular aspect has yet been confirmed by Meta. So why is Llama 3 such a big deal? What does it mean for you? Well, ultimately, the idea behind all of this is that it will make advanced AI, such as GPT-4, that's ChatGPT, available for free to everyone, anywhere, at any time. And yes, if you've got reasonably good uh, PC equipment, you'll even likely be able to run it on a local PC. And this is where the two upcoming uh, very small models will fit in. These are the ones coming next week or at thereabouts. These should be able to run locally on your PC and should provide for some very good insights as to what to expect from the full version of Llama 3 later this year. Moving on, we come to uh, ChatGPT, because of course there can't be any announcements out there in the world of AI without OpenAI also jumping in. And they've announced that GPT-4 Turbo is now getting a full rollout. It will be available under the API hood for everyone to access. And it's also rolling out to plus subscribers of ChatGPT. OpenAI claim that GPT-4 Turbo is majorly improved. But they haven't given any evidence or any details on exactly what that means. And of course, quite naturally, that has led to some skepticism among the community. Early tests show that the model is very good when it comes to maths. But for further confirmed and detailed tests, I think only time is going to tell. Returning back to the subject of open models, Command R Plus has recently been revealed and released. This is developed by Cohere, and I do believe it's cost around about $10 million to actually develop and train. This model is primarily aimed at enterprise usage, so that means it's really being built for corporations, and it will have a fee to be used as such. There will be a license fee for that. With that said, Cohere, the creators of the AI, have released the weights for this model publicly. And as a quick explainer, the weights are the core of a neural network's learning ability. In its purest sense, the weights represent the AI's understanding of the world and the manner in which it responds. The fact that Cohere have released these weights publicly then is significant, and it means that the public can build upon them and improve them, as well as get a deeper insight as to how Command R Plus actually works. So far, it's been shown that this particular AI large language model outperforms similar models in the scalable category, and that balances efficiency with accuracy. In other words, um, it's smaller, it's cheaper to run, but almost as good as the larger, more expensive models. In fact, Cohere state that their benchmarks have shown it exceeds GPT-4 Turbo in certain enterprise workloads. Now, if you want to try this particular model out for yourself, there is a link available in the video description where you can try it for completely for free, that this is running on the Hugging Face website. It all seems about open source this week, doesn't it? We've got a brand new announcement for Mixdrawl 8x22b. So this is another large language model AI that you can download and use on your computer, assuming that you've got the right type of hardware. So this new LLM was released just yesterday. It was created by Mixdrawl AI, a company known for pushing the boundaries of open source AI models. 
Now, what makes Mictual 8x22B so unique is that it has eight smaller specialized expert networks instead of one large neural network. And all of these eight uh, separate networks work together. And this is the part of the name, the part of the uh, engine that is called the mixture of experts part. The model is referred to as a sparse mixture of experts because for any given input, only a subset of these experts have actually activated, not all of them. And this saves on a lot of computation, meaning that the uh, AI can be run very fast or also on relatively low-end hardware, comparatively speaking, of course, to uh, some of the larger LLMs out there. Now, despite having 176 billion parameters total, Mixture all 8x22B only uses about 44 billion parameters per input due to this sparsity, due to this setup of experts it uses. Also, uh, Mixture all, uh, the latest version, can have up to uh, 65,536 tokens, and that's comparable roughly between, I'd say, around about 250 pages of text, depending on how you're counting the words. So that means you can input a lot of data here and have it understand what you're putting in. Overall then, there's been quite a lot of excitement amongst the Reddit community and other AI communities about this release, as it represents a pretty significant update. So there we have it, that's the latest AI news when it comes to LLMs this week, and there's no doubt more to come. If you're interested in watching some more, why not check out the other videos on the screen right here. I'll catch you next time, and take care.